for joining us. I'm Maddie Weir. As we begin with developing story tonight, one non-student is dead and seven others are injured after an early morning shooting on the campus of Grambling State University during homecoming celebrations. As Jesse Davis reports, it's the second shooting in just a few days. Two people gunned down, multiple people still recovering from gunshot wounds. This homecoming weekend at Gremlin is now shut down. A mass shooting on campus. Eight people shot, one fatal during Gremlin State's University homecoming weekend. In this video taken moments after, you can see a crowd running for safety and others picking up victims, carrying them out of the line of fire. This chaos has now canceled homecoming weekend. We know for sure that one is critical uh, and the other six are not life threatening. At this point, we have no suspect information for this shooting. Uh, now, the shooting that happened Wednesday morning, uh, we, have, we do have a suspect. This shooting is the second shooting in just a few days. Another shooting took place on Wednesday, where one person was killed and another injured. There's only one student that was a victim in the shooting last night. Now, shooting Wednesday morning or Tuesday night late, it was after midnight Tuesday night, uh, there was no students involved in that. Okay. So, out of everybody that was shot in all the instances, only one student uh, was involved or a victim in, the, in either one of these cases. We had a parade in the morning. We had a, a tailgating. We had a football game that we won. Uh, you know, there were uh, other activities. They were preparing for a, uh, a breakfast when, you know, when, when this occurred. So again, there was this whole day of, of activities that, that occurred without any, you know, any, any problem whatsoever. No, no one is more concerned than I am right now. Uh, you know, our students come here for an education and far too often it's outsiders who, who have created these, uh, these situations that, uh, that, that have put life and limb uh, in, in danger. That's not why we're here. That's not what we're about after 120 years. I mean, this is Grand State University. It's, uh, everybody in other states, other countries know uh, the history and, you know, of Grand State University. Both alumni and students say they were scared for their life in the midst of the early morning shooting that took place on campus. Valerie Maravi spoke with students who were there. Witnesses tell me they heard multiple gunshots coming from different locations in this mass shooting. Now, people who were actually here last night only tell me one thing. I'm in fear for my life because I had to keep looking over my shoulder. It's like I just got to run. I just got to get somewhere dark. Hide behind it, like I literally went back there and hid behind a bush. I was so scared, I did not know what to do. I didn't have anybody with me. I was so scared, like I left the whole group of people I was with. I just took off running. What well, went through my mind is first, I was worried about my safety and others as well. Uh, first, the instinct for me is just to get away, just to run, all that. Other witnesses tell me members of the Omega also helped carry two victims with gunshot wounds on their legs and back. I don't feel safe, and I'm just going to put it out there that Grambling police need to do better. Y'all not supposed to be running with us. I think I'm just going to stay in the house until I, I feel like kids. it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just party in my room because I, I can't. I can't do that. And Louisiana State Police are still looking for 18-year-old Jatavius Carroll, who was wanted for murder in last week's shooting at Grambling. Carol, who also goes by the nickname Rabbit, is accused of shooting two Rayville teens. A 16-year-old teenager was injured, and 19-year-old Demarius Murphy was killed. If you know where he is, contact Louisiana State Police.